I have to admit, when I was a kid, I was an excellent swimmer. I could cut through the water with the crawl, the breaststroke, not so much the butterfly, it's a shoulder thing that I just don't talk about much. But now that that show off, Michael Phelps went and set all those records that I may not be able to top, I decided that my new favorite stroke, if you can call it a stroke, is just floating. I suggest you try it. I mean, backpacks are. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. This is not a visual effect. What you're seeing is a backpack gliding up and down on its own, like it's floating, independent of the user's movements. Biology professor Lawrence Rome used his scientific mind to innovate the classic pack into something he calls hover glide. I met up with Larry at his shop outside of Philadelphia. Hey, Adam, this is where it all began. The, okay. The first prototype. And it looks like you evolved this pretty quickly over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's about from here to here is about 10 years. So. Wow, okay. But this over here looks to include the, the secret behind right, this technology right. here. So what does this do exactly? Essentially, what happens is as the frame moves up and down, these bungee cords form like a 10-foot-long continuous elastic band so that as the load moves uh, up and down, there's very little change in force. Larry's proof of concept was a 20-pound weight attached to a bungee cord, which he raised and lowered rapidly. Notice how the weight barely moves. Larry figured out a way to coil the bungee cord inside a backpack frame to offset its weight and force on the body. Most backpacks have a single frame. Hover Glide is different, it has two frames. The action takes place in between the two frames and it can be allowed to move up and down. You got this fairly unwieldy, uncomfortable looking pack right. down to this. So to get down to here took another two or three years because one thing, we had to get this to work as well in the smaller frame here. Now, I gotta say, this is very compact. It's it's very light. Right. And uh, it moves very smoothly. And what people love about it, it's extremely quiet as well. Extensive testing between a standard backpack and the hover glide revealed significant reduction in load stress on the body. In some cases, as much as 80 to 90%. After some basic instructions on how to fit the backpack to my frame from hover glide's Sean McIntosh, I gave it a try for myself. Wow. Okay, now I can tell this is yeah. different. This is remarkable. <laughs> I mean, the load is feels much lighter, and my bag isn't banging up against my body. Yeah, you don't have those dynamic loads because the bag is uh, stationary. It's almost as if I don't have anything on my back. It even works in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> 